Hey guys, it's Justin in the Summit Racing Studio with an update on our Project Silverado. If you've ever gone camping and woken up in a rain puddle or had a midnight visit from a curious raccoon, then you'll probably already know why we're installing a rooftop tent on top of our Project Silverado. But there are plenty of more reasons to have a tent up there too. For starters, the rooftop tent can be deployed quickly, which means you're not fiddling around with tent poles in the dark. And your campsite footprint is smaller as well, so you can sneak into tight spots and camp with a low impact on the environment around you. So there are a lot of upsides for a Thule rooftop tent like this. This particular one is a Thule Tapui Explorer Series Kukanam tent. It sleeps three people and includes a built-in memory foam mattress. And since the structural part is made of aluminum, it's rust resistant and weighs less than 150 pounds. Better yet, it's pretty easy to install. And with our Addictive Desert Designs Overland Rack we added in a previous episode, see for yourself. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do after unboxing your tent is set it up on a nice level surface where you have some room so you can unfold it. Then you're gonna to wanna to undo these side straps, open the tent up and remove these four items. You have your cover, your collapsible ladder, your rain fly poles and your hardware. Now you're gonna to wanna to figure out where you're gonna to wanna to exit your tent. Whether it be a side exit or rear exit. So you take your mounting bars and if you mount them like this, it's for a rear exit and you're gonna to need to trim them. If you mount them like this, it's a side exit and there's no trimming required. So let's get these installed. Now that we've figured out the direction we're mounting them, let's get them attached to the tent. After we've installed the rails, we went ahead and flipped our tent over so then we can move on to our ladder mounting brackets. With our mounts installed, now it's time to attach our ladder. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and strap your ladder down. It's not going anywhere. Now it's time to install our tent cover, which is super easy as well. With the cover on, now it's time to zip it up. With our cover on, now it's time to put our safety straps on and then we can get this thing thrown on top of the truck. This is a two person job, so grab a buddy and get your tent on top. So now that our rooftop tent's sitting on top, now it's time to get it bolted down. And we're gonna use this cool mounting system that comes right on the tent. You simply slide these brackets in, put them where you need them to be, and bolt them down. And all you do is lift up the tent, slide it into place, and then put the bolt through. Then we're gonna put our hardware on it and tighten it up once we got all of them installed. With our tent on top of the truck, now it's time to bolt it down. We're gonna use the provided hardware to do that. Now we're gonna show you guys how to set up the tent. I will say Thule was a bit optimistic when they said this thing sleeps three people. But I guess if you're really open-minded, it's also worth mentioning this thing's got all sorts of handy storage pockets. You know, for clothes, flashlight, maybe your favorite root beer or some peanut butter. 
the opportunities are endless. With this tent, our Project Silverado is one step closer to hitting the trails, which means the build is about to wrap up. So make sure to subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest episodes or any other action on the channel. I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.